Uh, today I will be basically doing like a really basic um, tutorial uh, using Blender and the idea is to make some kind of a, like a toilet character, toilet paper character. Uh, it's basically something, something like this or actually this one is probably a better example. Um, this is something that you can make very very easily using Blender. Of course, you can make like really um, other complex character, but what I will do is once I created this inside Blender, I will take it to something like um, this app, Reality Composer app. This is still beta. I'm using macOS Catalina, so you, if, in order to do that later, uh, you might need to install some things. But anyway, let's start with Blender. I don't have my mouse at the moment, um, and this is the default screen that you get whenever you open, uh, create a new document in Blender 2.8. But we should be fine with it. Um, I'm using touchpad. If you use two finger, you can do this kind of orbit. Uh, two finger, you know, uh, what do you call it? You can zoom in, zoom out using uh, the gesture similar to the iPhone or iPad. Uh, pinch, basically and shift and two finger give you this. So let's delete everything, tap A, tap X, delete everything. Um, I will be using a cylinder, okay? So by default, this is what you get when you create a cylinder. This actually have the top and the bottom part, so it's a, it's a good looking cylinder. But if you want to make like a toilet paper, maybe just, set the cap fill to nothing and make sure the generate UV is on because you want to have uh, the UV for texture painting so yeah I think this is pretty good you can lengthen the object okay later on if you want to make it smooth uh, you can go to edit um, operator smooth Ah, we can do it now, okay. And later on, if you want to have some kind of thickness, you can use solidify modifier. Okay, so, but that's maybe for later. For now, just leave it like this. Let's make this like, uh, save this first. Command S, save it as toilet paper character. Okay, this is pretty good, right? We have a cylinder. You can name it over here your, with your own character name and then from here we can jump into texture painting right away but uh, normally it's a good idea to give it a shader so for the shader you go to the shader here create a new material and give it a name you can change the color etc but doesn't matter we're gonna also use texture painting if you want to look at the material a little bit more detail, this is actually the material. This is the shader editor layout. Normally, I think it's a good idea to, if you wanna do a painting, you create an image texture node, you create a new, make a texture. Uh, this is by default, it's black color. Alpha is turned on, doesn't matter, just plug this into the base color and now we have black objects uh, black toilet paper but now we can jump into the texture painting so we have our UV here being displayed and with our texture so we are ready to go we can start painting um, maybe give it a, some kind of base color so this is the default and I'm painting using my trackpad or touchpad See, uh, by default, it's painting on the um, on the surface that you're facing, and I'll just make it like really quick, random. Um, let's make some kind of like a bad guy character, or this can be like a monster. If it's a bad guy character, maybe you 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 want to give it like a stripes or something like that. I saw something like this at a child uh, playground um, they have this toy made up of 
toilet paper. So it's kind of fun, I guess. Um, but if it's like a monster character, you can turn it, you can use any color, just paint it. You can do this better with mouse or if you have like a Wacom tablet or maybe uh, Apple Pencil and iPad. Um, yeah, okay, let's make some kind of monster looking character. The, the eyes can be red or rather pink in this case. With a, that's pretty scary looking uh, character already. Yep, so that's our monster. Um, give it a mouth. Oops, maybe just darker color. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Um, we are actually facing kind of like a random. Uh, yeah. We sh I supposed to draw on the front face, but I guess that's probably okay. I can turn on the shadow, or can't see the shadow. Anyway, save this. Okay, with this character, the texture need to be saved, so this I will just save it as monster uh, diffuse, or monster texture, doesn't matter. You see the star here, the asterisk? That means you haven't saved it. So save this as Monster Diffuse. Save it as PNG. Now we have this character. Like I said, I probably sp should have drawn this from the front. Um, so let's go back to Object Mode. Um, hit R. Hit Z. Now you can rotate it in Z axis. Oh, okay, let's make it like this. Okay, save it. Now we have some kind of transform here. Rotate. Control A. Just apply all transform. So now, okay. select the objects. Control A. Now it's zero out. So that's good. Uh, one thing I uh, to remember is probably to res to think about the pivot of the character in case you want to rotate it later on on reality composer app when you create like a, your AR kind of project um, anyway select this guy and go to solidify add some kind of thickness if you want uh, the, the normal seems a bit wrong maybe maybe we need to turn on the normal here auto smooth maybe but that's really depends on your need don't worry too much about it but anyway our character is done. At any time you can make a new texture and then make a better one than this, but uh, this is pretty good. So if you go like File, Export, GLTF in Blender 2.8, this, this thing will make you make it ready, um, apply modifier, uh, make it ready for for our USDZ stuff. So I'll call this USDC toilet paper. Actually, it's toilet roll, but it doesn't matter. Um, toilet paper characters exported. Uh, this guy is going to be really, really small. You might want to scale it. This guy is like 2 by 2 by... This, it says meter here, but if you convert it to USDZ, it's going to be centimeter. It's going to be pretty small. Maybe it's a good idea to just increase it 10 times. Save it. Control A, apply all transform, file, export, GLTF. So I'm doing it again very, very quickly. So I'm done with this. Now, if you want to follow through, you need to have access to USDC uh, tool. You need to go to Apple USDC gallery and then download the tool down below. There should, there's supposed to be like a Python USD. It's basically Pixar USD, uh, Universal Screen Descriptor or something that you can use to make USDZ. 
my internet is really slow, but you can download it from here, basically. And you're gonna get um, Python USD or USD Python folder that you can unzip and you get all this. And you don't need to set up anything, just run this USD command and you're gonna get this shell and this is ready for you to convert the your assets. So we have our um, asset here, right? Our monster with the texture uh, that, okay. Down download USDZ tool from here. Okay, that's the tool you need. If you need a GLTF viewer, just go to GLTF viewer and you can test this. Um, it, this guy can contain animation, etc. but that's gonna be for the next tutorial. For now, what we need to do is just try USD convert, USDZ convert, and you're gonna get this, um, some options. For now, what we are doing, you don't need to worry about that. USDZ convert and simply drag your GLTF and you're gonna get USDZ. This is actually an AR object that you can display on any iOS device, iPhone, iPad. This works on Mac OS, but Mac OS doesn't have camera yet. I mean, it has camera, but not 3D camera, not for AR, I don't think. So let's test this GLDF. Okay, it says missing texture. I need to select all of these, drag this to this guy. So yeah, like uh, the GL GLTF works, so that's good. So AR is really cool, this thing. You probably need to wait for iOS 13 in order to use all these, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. This is kind of like a preview. I can do like more advanced stuff at some point, but uh, many people maybe not don't really understand 3D that much and they will want to use Reality Composer and 3D stuff. And for that, you need Blender. You have Blender. You don't need, you don't need to have like expensive uh, 3D software. You just use Blender and it's gonna work. Um, yeah, USDZ. Once you have USDZ, you just drag it into Reality Composer. So save this as a simple toilet paper project, right? Yep. Okay. So the cool thing about this, of course, um, this is actually live. Um, just a quick demo because probably most of you, most of you don't have this yet. Uh, you probably don't use Mac OS, but uh, this is really cool because you can quickly add like physics dynamics uh, into this object. A quick one, like this is like a preset tap and flip, even just adding this, you can just hit play and then these guys will flip and jump. It's one of the coolest thing I did. Uh, uh, I tried using this app and this actually works on iPhone and iPad right away. You can actually file export it right away. Doesn't work 100% because it's still beta, but it's really, really cool. So your objects from Blender just works. Uh, we don't gonna, we're not gonna use tab. We're gonna try something a little bit more advanced. Uh, this guy have properties. We can turn on the physics. So by default, physics is concrete. Let's use plastic. And there's a collision shape. You understand all this if you use Blender before. Box, capsule, sphere. Maybe automatic is good for this anyway. So if you Select this character, command C, command V, you get a duplicate, and it's like a pretty fun thing that you can do using real toilet paper, or you can do it as AR. Okay, okay, and let's duplicate this guy uh, and then drag it up. You can actually use Blender for this, of course, but just for, just for fun, you know, I'm going to show you this because this is something that you might want to do in the future. You don't, you can make AR in many ways, but imagine this, this software, 
this app is going to be available on every iPhone and iPad. So you need to know this. If you have iPhone and iPad, of course, it needs to be under Apple for now. So if you play back, so this guy, I think, has some kind of physics. So it should fall. Oh, okay. Dynamic. It needs to be dynamic for all of them. Um, you see, when we duplicate it, 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 it has all the uh, all the properties from the other character. Okay, seems to work fine. So what we want to do next is probably have some kind of ball. So I've prepared ball a little bit earlier. Pixar ball xx and I just drag it into this. Oops. Uh, show it on Finder. This is GLTF. This is USDZ. Use this. Okay. Okay. The ball is too small. Just scale it. And let's hope that if we if we use some kind of physics setup, it's gonna throw the ball and then these things will fall. Okay, so behavior, tap and add, for, add force, okay, update. It needs to have dynamics and physics applied to the ball. Okay, we turn it on. So by default, the velocity, select this and look at the velocity. The arrow is wrong. We're gonna fix that really, really quickly. Okay, so now it's done. It's very simple. Hit play. Ah, okay. <laughs> it works. The ball actually fall by gravity by default because this is uh, correct, physically correct. And then you just throw the ball and yeah, this is really fun. And I don't have my iPhone here to show you um, the result, but you can edit this on iOS and it's going to work through the Wi-Fi connection, I believe. And I will probably going to show you later uh, via my Twitter. Right, okay, I think you got the idea. So this is Reality Composer. It, it comes with macOS Catalina if you have Xcode. So Reality Composer is actually hiding under Xcode. Currently it's beta. But if you open the Xcode, Reality Composer app is inside the Xcode. You need to have Xcode. That means you need to be a developer. But this app also available on iPhone and iPad. So whatever you create in Blender, whether it's, it has animations or just like a simple stuff like this, you can really just make anything. Okay, it's really simple. Like like what I show you just in about few minutes under 20 minutes this is uh, something you can make at home and yeah it's really really fun and you can have some you can create some interactive AR basically just by doing this okay all right hopefully this is has been like interesting and fun you can try it yourself and yeah when if you have something like this and then you file export gltf that's basically how i do it in the future you probably can use fbx but for now gltf will work just drag it i mean usdz convert drag the gltf and hit enter you get this usdz this usdz will work on the iphone you just airdrop it or send it by message and then your friend maybe can make something like this um, at school or something. Yeah, it's fun. Hopefully this is fun. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Bye.